Hi there. In this video, we'll look at time slips. Uh, time slips allow us to record time an employee spends on a job for a customer. We can then pay the employee based on that time as well as bill the customer for that time. So first of all, we have to uh, change some settings for some of our service items. So go to Inventory and Services. I'm going to change my service items here down at the bottom. I have a bunch of service items. I'll start with 130 and I'm going to make this an activity that allows us to change some settings at time of billing. So unit of measure is hour, activity is billable, billable time, and we'll use an existing payroll item over time too for all of these. And I'll move on to some other service items here. S100, activity, time and billing, and again over time two, and also S110. And save and close. We're also going to take a quick look at job categories. So we can categorize our jobs. This gets into the realm of uh, departments as well or projects. So set up settings payroll. Job categories here. I'm going to create two job categories. So salespersons and support personnel. And I'm going to assign these job categories to a couple of employees. So I'm going to make Albert support. And I'm going to make Mark sales. And OK. And OK. So the next thing I'll do is create a time slip. So you can do that under payroll and time slips, create time slip. And this is Mark on April 30th. The customer is Dixon. The item there's the three items there. Mark spent some time on layout design. He spent uh, two hours. And notice that you can allocate this to, do a, to a department as well. So I'm going to record this. And yes, I'm done with that. The next thing I want to do is um, make sure that Mark Polson has that wage item. So I'll just choose him there under income. I'll scroll down to make sure he has an overtime too, and he doesn't. And we're going to make that $50 an hour. So for any time that he spends on a job using one of those activities, for a customer, he'll be paid that amount, again, because of that link that we added to the inventory item or service item, and save and close. So I'm just going to quickly create a paycheck. I could just twirl mark here. This is on April 30th. And April 30th. Looks like it's two weeks, 70 hours, so I'll make the start date about two weeks before the 30th. All right, so this is his uh, paycheck again. All of these amounts come from his record. 
I, now I want to add those time slip activities. So you just click on the little clock here. And we want to grab the activities from April 1st to 30th. And OK. And there we go. We get that two hours that we recorded in the time slip. And I'll go ahead and post and post. And now the third thing we have to do is to bill the customer based on that time that the employee spent working for them. So we just go to receivables and Dixon, create an invoice. This is April 30th. And then we just again click on that same little clock. That, that the time was spent in April, so I'm just going to look for the entire month of April for any time slips. There it is. If I click on my little check column here and choose add that item and everything that we entered on the time slip gets added to the invoice and the tax should be HST and we can go ahead and post so again that's uh, recording time slips and then taking those amounts, paying our employees and billing our customer. Thanks for watching.